And once he's there, soften your hands and just keep the leg. Lift your shoulders, down in the heel more. There we go. If you can get him to ride on the buckle, we'll ride him on the buckle. That's the balance. That's the balance. A little bit more. Inside, not cross over. Open your rein over your inside knee and push him in with this inside leg. Again, push, push. There we go. Get in there, Gabby. Soften your outside rein. So, little trick: push your outside rein forwards, inside rein over your knee, inside leg, inside leg, and then just play with your ring finger, ring finger, ring finger. Keep the contact though. You got a lot of leg to do. Remember, he's broke a little bit more western. Is he? Probably doing western for more than he's jumping. I think. And then half halt, so close your thighs and sit tall and close your lower leg just to lift the shoulders. There we go. Feel a little bit difference there? No. No? no? Come on. A little bit more then. Lift those shoulders. Still on the forehand. And then sit. Oh, listen to how hard heavy he's banging. And close your lower leg. Lift it up. Oh, that's why I need to keep the road because I can keep the back. Yeah, Brandon's gonna drag the arena. Woohoo! And then take a little bit of contact. Keep the elbows bent. Keep the legs closed. Contact. Don't just throw it all away, right? If you feel like you're racing, I want you to slow it down a little bit. Not that much. <laughs> Nope. Don't go into any transition without having them together, right? Slow down the trot. Slow it down. Collect it a little bit. When you feel like you have a nice balanced trot is when you're going to bring them in and keep the contact. Sit and then push. Reins are too long. Don't get pulling on his face, right? Lift your body down in the heels. Be part of him. Turn the reins a little bit more. Keep them together a little bit more. She might need something to eat. I'll show There we go. Stuff something in her between the next ride before the next ride. Walk in, inside leg and sit and push. There. Better. Now just come up and I can. Not quite, not quite half seat. Your reins are getting longer. Wow, that was the look she gave you. Was that a good look or a bad look? I don't know. <laughs> Did you notice it? There we go. Keep the rein. And then close your lower leg. Keep that inside and just step them up. A little bit down in the outside to push your shoulder back in. People talk a lot about how she needs to sit to feel the horse and to do certain things instead of yeah. do light seat. Down in your heels. I don't know what that's about. Sit. Do you know what that's close about? Close your thighs and close your lower leg. Keep the contact. Keep the contact. Just half halt a little bit. Slow your seat. Don't drive so much, okay? Hip go forwards when his leg goes forwards. Slow it down. There we go. And then down to the walk. Sit up. Keep the contact. Your reins got long. But do you know what they mean? Like, is there, why don't we sit more? 
me doing honors. You sit and look pretty. So you think that I it's... You sit more, but at the same time, you have to keep your horses back warm before you can sit and drive them together. Like, if you just get on a horse and pull them all together, then it'd be like you uh, just all of a sudden going and running a marathon. Like, you don't have muscles. You don't stretch or anything. You stretch yeah. the back. Yeah. So you think the biggest thing, discrepancy, is that we do hunters here and that people that are talking about how you need to sit more, sit in the saddle, sit in the saddle, are probably from a different area and are riding a different... Yeah, you're riding differently. Not everybody rides the same. Like, Europe is completely different. The U.S. is completely different. The U.S. The is... world's completely different. The U.S. is probably the most similar though, right? Yes. Europe is completely different. Yeah. Right there is a whole new ball. Yeah. Don't be crossing over. Brandon says never go rain. into a canter. Inside rain is longer than your outside rain. Until your trot is perfect. There we go. Get in there and then sit and push. You can tell when Gabby needs sugar when yeah. she's quiet. Is this the is this the Gabby you like, Brandon? This like nice this you like this Gabby? I like the noisy Gabby. Because following this quiet, nice Gabby, it can then, get yeah. really bad and noisy. Then sit and then just keep that lower leg on, right? Much better, Gabby. Keep the reins. Don't let them get too long. Get that lower leg on. If he's a lot of hands, what's your hand rating? One is none, ten is too much. Close your thighs. Lift your shoulders. There. And then half halts and just slow it down. There we go. Keep it. Keep it. Keep it. Much better. This must be his good side. Is this his good way, Gabby? Huh? Is this his good way? Yeah. Good. Yep. Soft trot. Soften the rein. Let him see if he is stretched down. Play with that inside. Inside leg. Inside leg. Inside leg. Keep that nose over the inside shoulder. Get him to bed. Don't be crossing that rain over. I'll cut it off. Down a little bit more. Inside. Little wiggle. There we go. Get in there. Starting to soften that outside rain. There. And now sit up and walk. Don't use the rain. There we go. Shorten the reins. There we go. I like this one. Now sit and start looking. Get the extra steps. One, two. There we go. Good. That was bad. Wasn't awful. Things can be fixed, right? So what's the thing that, like, what, should she be squeezing him at some point? Or should she not squeeze him? Or, like, what is, is it that she's missing? So this is our fine line of getting stridability, because I see a lot of people commenting on counting the strides, right? Yeah. We don't have, the brain size for our strides is too small, right? Okay, so the arena is too small so for him to get strides. Change directions and pick up again. So what you almost have to do, Gabby, is you have to ride a stride pass eight and then turn in start asking with the outside and then soften right this here where we're standing should be a nice three so just yeah and then pick up the canter again whenever you're right where's she jumping right 
So this is here where right? you have so if you have that slow stride, you this is I gave you a distance here. This is your box. This is where you take off at. So this is where you're kind of aiming to go. This is where you take off at. Right? So reins lift the low. One, two, three. Oh. He took off at it. Yeah, we jumped from way back here. Oh, so that's not what you meant. In the box. In the box. This is our takeoff. But you did exactly what he said. That's amazing. We moved up. We moved up. That's good. Now let's go get him in the box. I know you don't like it. But you have to try it and see. You know, I had, when I was young, I did a clinic and they drew a box in the sand. That was hard because your horse. I didn't have a guideline other than a drawn box. So you got this is her box, you guys. And then sink down in the saddle. Sink, sink, crush, saddle, touch. Down in the shoe. Down. Sink, butt, saddle. Are we doing full seat? Full seat. Full seat. Let's lift up those shoulders. Lift those reins. One, two. Uh -oh. Okay. This is something new. You got to practice it to get it right. That's all. Right? We want the stride to stay the same. The same stride, the same pace, same everything. He kicked that forward. Oops. Yeah. So lift your hands forward. Throw those reins again. Down. Lift that shoulder. Small amount of impulsion, so just get that hind end just to step up a little bit. Yeah, look, down. One, two, three. There we go. That was so good. One, two, three. Come on, it's there, push. This is two six. So she didn't like the grand pole. So basically, he was just trying to get her to see that she had to get to the base of the jump before. So can you get to the base? Can you get to the base? So she's worried that the ox are so wide. That's her box now. Yeah. When we show, we put a martingale on. She says it's a look. She doesn't see it. I love that. So Martin Gale for him will be at the show for a look, but he doesn't need it. One, two, three, one. Big reach, big huge reach. Yeah, I didn't like that. No, right? So as you're coming in, remember, this is why we like to have that balance. There, what you could have done, you could have sat a little bit and just had that extra step, right? So coming to the officer, brains. Ready? She's scared. So. Change direction to the first. As you're coming through, right? Start looking to my yak A. See if that's your canter coming around the corner. If it's not, then you have to sit up a little bit and then just collect it. Just half off a little bit. Don't let those reins get too long. She hasn't built trust in this horse yet. Yeah, keep the hand. Keep your hands up. Down in the leg. This is it. Sit a little bit. One, two, push. There we go. Feel a little bit better? Yeah. Good. All the way around. Keep the connection. The oxer's midget size now. So. The oxer's midget size now. Stay in drive, okay? Stick to the outside wall. Half hold. Just, just got long and flat. Lift it. Down. Half hold. Wall. One, two, four. There we go. Yeah, there we go, there we go. Why does he want to stop after that one? Because of the corner? Yeah. Remember, it's slippery. Good. Keep this half off the smidget and come back to the vertical again. One, two, good. 
No, because I broke it. He broke it. <laughs> Get him back together, Gabby. It's wide again. Good, now come do it again. Sneaky coaches. And your reins are. I was gonna say, you lost your can. Keep those reins, keep that leg. Kind of hop a little bit. Lift those shoulders. Don't let them get long and flat. Wall, reins. Look. One, two. Five. Oh, and you kept going almost. You can't work hander. But can we just get that extra step? I don't think leaving from this far away is a big. Big ordeal. Yeah, we left right here. <laughs> so what is it? What is she telling him? What is it that's making him jump way back there? I was like, holy crap, now and whenever I sit up, he's like long time. So you're sitting up and he thinks long? Yeah, like you're coming in and then because you got like actually that was a better turn for you. But you just soften your reins too early, right? You soften your reins at the corner. I want you to be able to get here. <laughs> Right here, and then soften your reins so that he can then put So it. his clue to jump is when you soften your reins. Right, that's why you have to keep them together, right? He's got that big stride. I mean, it's going to work for show season because we can move down the line. Yeah. Right? So in show, at the show, he's going to be like because so he, much better. A long spot in, we know that you can make up for the short land, which won't be an issue. she needed was to know wow wait till you see that back you're gonna you lost it no i was losing it i was like oh wow right right here you did it so did you let go of his reins a little when you got to the right spot yes good holding back till we got close so that was huge all right Climb down, go get whatever you need. Take the saddle, I'll walk him out. Go get another treat, I'll pay for two. And you, are you full? <laughs> okay. You can't eat any more chocolate. Okay. Water. Good boy cheese. Yeah, that was perfect. Wow, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm really excited about our plan, Gabby, are you? 